What is up guys, I am Brill Scheme, and today I'm going to show you how to install newer Super Mario Bros. Wii in 2023. For this tutorial, you're going to need a homebrewed Wii, a new Super Mario Bros. Wii disc, an SD card, working printer, gaming chair, Samsung smart fridge, rare USB adapter, single woman friend, rare Irish internet gaming monkey, sour milk, a toaster, Taiwanese microchips, a flab unzipper, a power generator, and a pickup truck. And depending on how you decide to go about this, the objects you need may vary. To this tutorial, there are two steps. The first one is modding your console and the second one is modding your SD card. Let's get started with modding the Wii. So first, your Wii is going to need some guidelines to follow. Personally, what I'd like to do is print out my country's entire law system and then shove it in the disk drive of the Wii. However, for Canadian viewers, I recommend skipping out on the Official Languages Act unless if you want your Wii speaking French to you in the middle of the night. And for American viewers, I recommend you guys skip the Second Amendment or else your Wii may pull up on you with a gun at 3 a.m. After that, let your Wii marinate in sour milk for 10 hours straight. Then after that, you're going to need to power up your Wii in a few different ways using the power of friendship because remember high morale always equals more flexible code so let your Wii harness the power of your gaming chair then hit the gritty in four different dimensions at once with the elusive Irish gaming monkey sometimes even the power of friendship isn't enough and if this is the case for your Wii you may need to set it up on a date you can of course skip this step if you have an ultra rare bisexual Wii now after all that your Wii is ready to go now the next step is requiring the newer Super Brother Brother Wii Mario Luigi Blue Toad Yellow Toad Wii extravaganza files from the internet. First off, you're gonna need to go to the newer Wii Wii website and download the files from your Samsung smart fridge. From there, you need to pay $199.99 at 150% price plus inflation for the Apple one-time Samsung fridge to Razer Gaming Toaster USB Tri-Uni Adapter. Now that you've ported the files onto your Razer Gaming Toaster. By the way, this is my Razer Gaming Toaster sporting four slots, eight buttons, the French language, and a variety of settings. My Razer Gaming Toaster patched my newer Super Wii Wii files, and now I can put them on my SD card. The file should be in a zip type folder called .yafl. This stands for You're a Fat Loser, and we have to convert that to .yafl. AFW or you're a fat winner. In order to do that, we're going to need to make a few physical modifications to the SD card itself while the files are on it. And just to check that we've done everything right, it is recommended that you download Flab Unzipper, starting with the physical modifications for the SD card. First, you're going to need to smack it with a hammer, run it under hot water, drill a small hole, and then fill it with Taiwanese microchips. That last one also helps aid your favorite country in the ongoing microchip war. Then from there, you open Flab Unzipper while the files are on your SD card, and pressing yes will do the final patching of the files. Now all you need to do is take the files and then put them inside of the apps folder in Homebrews. And if you guys need a tutorial on how to install Homebrews, then I have a link in the description on how to do that yourself. Now here's what you're going to have to do on your Wii. First, you're going to need to load the homebrews with the SD card and new Super Mario Boredom Red and Green Man's Wii 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 Disc in the Wii. Also, make sure to avoid loading CGTP with this setup as if you do, your Wii will turn into a spider and drag your couch into a Kazakhstani cement mixer. Also, if you're not doing this on a Wednesday, make sure to spin in a circle twice before doing this. Now you'll see a new piece of text appear in homebrews that should say I am a 600 pound male with no love life. This is actually a button and you're going to want to click it regardless of if this applies to you or not. Once you do that, your Wii will request to be driven to the most northern Tim Hortons in the world at Alert Nunavut in a pickup truck. And you're going to need to drive the Wii all the way up there without it turning off. And that's why you're likely going to need one of these things called a power generator. Also, so be wary as Alert Canada is a military base. Now that you've fed your Wii some juicy Timbits, you can come back home and go to the next menu. From there, you can download Rye Bread Volution, which is the Wii's main game patch loader. After that, you're gonna need to take the files out of apps on your SD card and then move them to the Rye Bread folder on the SD card. If you don't put the newer Super Brother Brother Mushroom Buckenberry Wii Wii files in the apps folder, the home 
screws, your SD card will corrupt and turn your house into a 4th of July celebration for your neighbors and a game of Russian Roulette for you and your family. After that, all you need to do is load up Rye Bread Volution, and if you see Newer Super Wee Brother Brother Wee Turd Double Cheeseburger Browse Wee Wee, then you've done everything correctly. Hopefully this tutorial helped, and as always, make sure you check the upload dates before you watch YouTube videos. And feel free to send this to a friend who does not know how to get newer Super Mario Bros. Wii, as that is kind of the purpose behind these videos. Thanks to my friend Char from Terrible Game Check for making Rye Bread Volution and Flab Unzipper, and my friend Sage for helping film the in real life parts of the video. Also, if you've been invested in the fake Wii modding timeline, then I'm sure you'll be hyped to hear that I'm releasing a custom CGTP menu skin that goes over CGGP. It was a project I took on quite a while ago now and I never ended up finishing it, but a lot of people who see it seem to be impressed by it, so I thought I would release it with this video. If you're looking for actual tutorials, they'll be in the description, and have a great April Fools!